It's the NFL on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the New York Giants and the Buffalo Bills. All that and more coming up next. Autumn has come to upstate New York. Fall colors abound, and we welcome you inside Highmark Stadium here in Orchard Park. Straight ahead, we've got a pretty good one on tap here, as it'll be the New York Giants taking on the Buffalo Bills. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Uh, Charles, here in Buffalo, they love their Bills, and for good reason. They're guys, without question, one of the favorites to lift the Lombardi Trophy in Vegas come February. And you mentioned with good reason, because we know their quarterback is one of the best players in the league, but this is an overall team built to win, especially when we get into the playoffs. Offense, defense, coaching staff, they've been knocking on the door for a while. They want to find their way through and get to the Super Bowl. Meanwhile, for the Giants, what a turnaround last season in year one of the Brian Dable era, Charles. Yes, they finished behind the Eagles and Cowboys, but they did win nine games and one more for good measure at Minnesota in the wild card round. Talk about establishing a new base, a new culture, and getting into the playoffs while doing it. So tough to beat this Giants team in the fourth quarter. They expect that to continue. And we are underway in Buffalo. And no run back here, so they'll bring it out to the 25. Now here come the Bills for their first possession, led out by their 27-year-old quarterback in year six. It's Josh Allen. And it just feels like Allen has the Bills on the cusp of something great. Another 13-win season last year, and they're officially perennial favorites in the AFC. Behind that effort, continued excellence from one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL. On first down, Allen. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. Just like that, it's a gain of 12 and a first down on their first play. And as you're game planning as a staff, you go through all the different ways you can neutralize the other guys' pass rushers. Extra linemen, leave a tight end in, bring the running backs back in to block. Or you can do this, a little simple screen pass, and it works to perfection. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen, he's got this one complete to Sherfield. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. It's a gain of 13 and a Buffalo first down. Pretty good start right off the bat there with throws one and two. He's not locking in on just one target early, is he? Spreading it around a little bit as this game gets started. Back-to-back -back first downs. Allen off the play fake. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Credit that to the former Georgia Bulldog, Aziz Ojolari, getting in there to bring him down. And this is what you've got to do against a quarterback like him. You've got to keep him in the pocket and not let him get to the perimeter, because once he gets outside, that's where he can really hurt you. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Now Allen. Looking left side, it's complete. He's got it. And they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Throwing is Allen on third, and that will be incomplete. Well, I'm quite sure that they envisioned a much better start to this game when they practiced all week, but they failed on that third down play. That brings up fourth down, and they'll probably have to punt it away. So now on fourth down, Sam Martin on to punt for Buffalo. And he gets it away, a directional kick going toward the sideline. And this is going to be ruled out, I think, just inside the 20. Yes, it will. Side judge calls it at the 19-yard line. 
Well, the Giants ready to go now on offense. And under center is the man in possession of a new contract for 2023 and beyond. In his fifth season now, Daniel Jones. Playing for his Giants career, Jones' best season as a starter didn't come with huge numbers as a passer. He was just the guy his team needed him to be. Someone who could threaten the defense throwing it, and especially as a runner. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. Now a two-time pro bowler coming off a big year, Saquon Barkley. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. Running again with Barkley on second down. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? So a solid run by Saquon Barkley and another first and 10 here. Now Jones. He dumps it off to Barkley. And he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. A gain of four. It's now second and six the 34-yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 24. This is second and six. Throwing Jones. And the Bills are going to get him as he goes down. That's Gregory Rousseau getting in there to bring him down. In every game, we talk about what are going to be the keys as we go into it. Maybe that's a key for their defense today. Pressure the quarterback and make sure you play a good zone defense behind them and they get their first sack of the contest. After that sack, third and long, tough spot for Jones and the Giants. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. The throw here right sideline falls incomplete. No surprise at all. They're looking for the big man early in this one. The only surprise for them, he couldn't hang on to the pass. On fourth down, here's Jamie Gillen on to punt. Deontay Hardy back deep. Fair catch signal four and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. So first and 10 now from the 30. is Allen that's complete and past the 40 before he's out of bounds nice way to start the drive a gain of 12 and a first down zero hesitation that time that was get ball throw ball yeah it turned into a smoke route if you see the coverage off the receiver doesn't matter whether you call it a run or not just take the ball get it out to it Allen now on first down and it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. But we keep stats on everything, don't we? This is one that you don't want to have. That's his second drop right here in the first quarter. Yeah, I was going to say only in the first quarter. Certainly a shift that he wants to write quickly. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Now a man in for an expanded role in 2023. It's James Cook, and he'll be tackled at the 45 following a gain of just two. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. They'll see about converting this third and eight. Here's Allen to throw it. Look in the middle of the field. Complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants 35. Now a 
stoppage here as we've got a bill shaken up on the play. We'll check on his status when we return to Orchard Park. So the drive takes him into Giants territory now. First and 10 at the 35-yard line to throw. It's Allen. They're unable to connect, but a late flag comes in. And the contact may have come too early. So a P.I. call going to cost him there defensively. What did you see? Well, I think it's the right call, partner, because sometimes we'll see officials kind of let them play. But by the letter of the law, that's definitely a penalty. Here's Allen on first and 10. Steps away to his left. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. And that's an early scramble that can be viewed positively by either side. From the offensive point of view, it begins to establish him as a possibility to keep it on certain plays. And defensively, they avoided giving up a huge play in one of their first tests in containing a quarterback on the run. On second down, Cook. And he'll get a couple here down to the 22. In order to play really good run defense when you're playing a 3-4, those three guys up front, the nose tackle and the guys they call the defensive ends, they're usually big, big people because they're going to have to eat up a lot of blockers because it's usually five on three. And when they do their job well, guys who play on the inside, those inside linebackers, they will just roam and hit. And he is caught. when it's done like that for a touchdown. Uh, the throw, the catch, and how about the run after to get it to the end zone? The Tyler Bass on for the extra point attempt. And it's 7-0 Buffalo. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And it ends with a touchdown pass to Gabriel Davis. to the touchdown Bass to kick it away. And he will make it to the 20 yard line and no further. So the Giants getting the football back here for their second drive. start out on the ground it's Saquon Barkley and he's going to get this one across the 30 yard line a gain of 11 to kick off the drive and it's a quick first down a big hole there how about him handling the point of attack just positioning himself so that, that run could go right off of his backside and deep into the secondary from the 32 now here's first and 10 back to throw Jones. Yeah, he short arms that one just a bit. It's low and incomplete. I think he's a little trigger happy right there, and it turned into an ill advised throw into their zone. Well, we know he has confidence. He'll throw it any place, anytime, anywhere. That time it fell incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Jones with a handoff to Barkley. Takes this one across the 35 to the 36, a gain of about four. 
That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. Now a third and six. Looking to throw. Jones looking for Campbell downfield. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Now give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. Almost feels like anything you can do, we're going to try and match or do better. We've already seen one touchdown pass from the opposition. They tried to equal it on that throw. On is Jamie Gillen to punt this one away. Here's Hardy set to return. Well, following the punt return here, there is someone shaken up. We'll check on his status when we return to Orchard Park. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. Here's Allen. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. Even the greats in this game, and, and he certainly qualifies as one of them. They're going to have trouble if they continue to throw into double coverage. He better be careful. Throwing into too much double coverage might have a couple of them picked off. Now Allen. It's complete to Diggs. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Allen to Diggs there for a Buffalo first. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Throwing now is Allen. He's got the hook up with Diggs. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants 39. They give him 17 yards that time as that'll move the chains. So the drive takes him into Giants territory now, first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Allen now looks to throw. Another target for Stephon Diggs, and he brings it in. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. In today's football, where receivers break tackles, make people miss, <laughs> get upfield for the extra yardage, when you see a play like that where it's caught and he's dropped on the spot, that's a big time play by the defense. Cook up the gun. And nowhere to run on the interior of that defensive line. He'll get back only to the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play, and now they're faced with a third and one. Brandon, one thing about blitzes, they really confuse offensive linemen at times, and what you have to do is lock in on the guy right in front of you. If you don't, you saw the end result. Defensive tackle end up making the play. They'll run it. Here's Cook. And he's able to pick up the first down here before he goes down at the 26. Give him the third down conversion. Five yards on the play. They had yet to run the ball at all on this drive, but third and short, definitely was a great time to dial one up. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. Wide open receiver complete. Touchdown. Quentin Morris, 26 yards. And the Bills have taken a 13-0 first quarter lead. 
So the quarterback drops to throw, looks over, and boom, a guy that wide open, he has to be thinking, wait a minute, this is some kind of a dream. This is too easy. Yeah, a great dream. One you don't want to wake up from, but for the defense, almost feels like there was a bust in coverage. Tyler Bass now for the point after. And it's good, and they have jumped out here to a quick 14-0 first quarter lead. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays, and it ends in a Buffalo touchdown. the touchdown bass to kick it away and from his end zone here's Gary Brightwell and ultimately he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25 possession of the football going back over to the Giants they've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now They begin with a run by Barkley. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Well, you're down early. How do you get back in the game? Maybe establish the run. I think they're trying to do that. Now I'm with you on that one. And what I like about the message is that there's no panic from the head coach. He's already told his offensive coordinator, let's run the football. Let's get things settled down a little bit and find our way back into this game. From the 30 on second down, Jones being chased out left. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Opted to run for it. The decision, a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. That's the first time he's called his own number, but he's got to be overjoyed with the results. He wasn't just going to settle for a modest gain. To me, he was determined to come through with a big message to a defense that slept on him in the pocket. Jones fakes the give to Barkley. This pass into the hands of Bellinger. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and it's second down. Nice play call, a little bit of play action right there. If you can get those linebackers to freeze for just a split second, that's usually all the room you need in order to get it to your tight end. From just shy of midfield, here's second down and five. And Jones is going to put it in the hands of Barkley on the option. And just one yard here from the 49 to the 50. Five yards on first down, but now just a one-yard pickup there on second. 14-0 to score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Giant football, and we're ready to begin the second quarter. Here is third down and four as they've got it as we resume action. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. Problems on third down so far in this first half. Relatively small sample size, but they're now 0 for 3. And the average in the league, somewhere around 40% on third down for offenses. So what's the answer to this? Either convert them or don't get the third down in the first place. Get your big chunks of yards on first and second down. And here's Gillen on now to punt as he gets this one away. 35 yards that time on the punt. And they will take over first and 10. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. And it's been a good first half so far. They're up 14 to nothing. Points here that could really put them in command before intermission. Yeah, and it's all well and good what they're seeing and how they're feeling right now. But this is the NFL. How many times do we watch 14 and nothing leads evaporate and quickly? So how, do we, how have we seen them combat it? Continue to run your offense, but don't back off at all. Don't start looking at the clock. Don't start thinking about, hey, just take care of the football. Keep attacking. Usually the best way to maintain control. Quick throw here by Allen complete. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 30. The drive 
drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle, it doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up, not that time. The Bills on third down. They've been good, three for four thus far. This time it's third and three. To the air, Allen. I uh, had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Well, we've seen him catch a few passes out of the backfield in the first half, unable to connect on that one. Certainly seems like getting him the ball out of the passing game, though, is part of their game plan. It certainly is because he catches it well, creates a mismatch. You're going to cover him with a linebacker, a corner, a safety. They feel like he can win every battle. Here's the punter, Martin, out to kick it away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken just outside the 20-yard line. They call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And it'll be giant football first and 10. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their own 22. He'll drop it off with Saquon Barkley. Oh, a heck of a move. Man. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. An excellent way to start the drive there, 18 yards. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Operating from the gun, Jones. That's complete. He's got Barkley out of the backfield. So the completion good for six yards at its second down. Saquon Barkley gets a pick up of six. Brings up second and four at the 47-yard line. It's Barkley on the counter. Shifts by him. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. Four yards the pickup, first down. And Brandon, you know that expression? He just does what he does. <laughs> it sounds trite, doesn't it? But in this case, it's perfectly apt. This is one of the better runners in the NFL. And all he does is just find avenues, find ways to pick up key first downs and big runs. Going jet sweep. Here's Campbell. And that is well read there defensively. He was looking to use his speed to get the edge, but they said no way. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Well, as a wide out, when you take that handoff and you're coming around the edge, you're expecting to see nothing but empty space in front of you. But if not... Well, things can go south in a hurry, and that's exactly what we saw on that play with a loss. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Let's face it, if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you got to hit. It's wide open right there. Got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Back to throw. Jones. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. We can't have that. Now, you don't want to see that penalty at any point, but it adds a little extra to it when it comes on third down. 
It certainly does, because if this were a boxing match, they had him on the ropes there. Third down incompletion, fourth down upcoming. Instead, that mistake resets everything back to first down, which means they have to stay on the field longer to try and stop this drive. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Well, this is where reading defenses and practice time comes into play. You've got to know what you're running versus zone versus man and how to run the proper route. And they just executed that one pretty well. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Operating from the gun, Jones. Pass incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. From the 21, it's second and 10. Going in motion left, that's Campbell. He'll get it here on the jet sweep. And this is not going to work as planned. He's going to be met and dropped behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. I like the idea to mix it up from time to time, because let's face it, you can't be predictable. But the execution was a little lacking on this one, right? They might want to go back to the drawing board with that call. Jones now to throw on third down. Got a man open. It's Darren Waller. It'll be a gain of just a yard, and that's going to make it fourth down. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran it a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line, but once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. This is just outside the right upright. It's no good, and this will remain a two-touchdown game. Wow, that qualifies as a bad miss because anything inside of 40 should be automatic. That's a big mistake right there. Buffalo's set to get the football back here. No points last time out. They were forced to punt, if you remember, but no time to dwell on that. They've still got the lead here and a chance to add to that here. First and 10 as this new drive starts. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10, just shy of the 30. Throwing to start the drive, Allen. And he is going to lose yardage here. He was unable to shake free there. They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. Well, Brandon, we could see that play developing, and they were hoping that he was going to be able to put a move on the first guy and turn it into a big play. But no such luck. The speed on defense continues to get better and better in the NFL. Pretty nice example there of those guys being able to run from their assignments and finish off that play. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. The passing game's been working quite well so far, but the running game's been a little bit of a struggle, and that's a surprise to me. Typically, when you can throw it, you've opened up lanes for your runners. Here's third and seven. So the shotgun snap to Allen. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. Josh Allen, very athletic at 6'5", showing the versatility, picking up the first on the scramble. Well, he and his offense were staring down what was likely a three and out. Zero fear from his side, though. Never doubt for a second they pick up the first. He's ready to pull the trigger on a keeper the moment it revealed itself. From midfield, here's Allen. Incomplete. Normally, he's pretty reliable. He usually catches what's thrown to him. On that play, he simply dropped it. Here's second and 10. From the pistol, they run it with Cook. And he's going to be brought down inside the 45 at the 43. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Well, this play sequence was really kind of called in reverse. Incomplete pass on first and 10. Nice run on second and 10 when probably everyone was expecting them to throw the football. 
Now, if you're the defense, what are they going to do on third down? You're a little off balance. Allen going to try and throw on third down. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 30. 13 yards as the quick slant keeps the drive moving. Well, things are definitely going right for them here in the first half. Pick a down, any down, even third down, no problem. They get a connection there and pick up a fresh set of downs, continuing to move the ball. So first and 10 now from the 30. Allen going to throw. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Well, their first two drives yielded touchdowns, so there's no reason for them to feel like they have to pull back on the reins. They pushed it downfield, looking for another one right there. Didn't get it, but we know they're going to continue to be bold. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Back to the ground, Cook. And his rough afternoon continues. He's going nowhere again. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and 10. If this defense wants to stay in this ball game, they've got to start ending some drives. That helps. And they have to look ahead at what they expect the offense to do. And right now with that lead, that's run the football. So you don't just stack the line of scrimmage. You have to get upfield and try to make some plays in their backfield. He's got his running back. James Cook, 30 yards. And the Bills have moved out in front by three touchdowns. Boy, so if you are scoring at home, Charles, and God bless you if you are, but that's now three drives and three touchdowns. So in a baseball game, wouldn't that wreak havoc on your scorecard? Yes. <laughs> I mean, with all the action that's happening now, how they got here, whatever cliche you want to bring into it, they're locked into a groove. They're clicking on all cylinders. Bottom line, they're piling up the points. An extra point by Bass. Up and good. And that makes the score 21 to zip. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The offense takes the field, and we turn our attention to Saquon Barkley. He's doing his thing. He's got some good yardage, but his team right now in the second quarter, zero points. Just not a complete formula. Half of it's there, being able to run the ball and set the tone. I wonder if they may have to go to some play action, throw off the run game, and try and get the ball in the end zone. I was just going to ask you that same thing. Maybe you use that run now to set up the pass, right? I would think so, because the run has been very effective for them. Meanwhile, Jones throw complete here to Wall. Yeah, he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and it'll be second down. The completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Now Jones. And that one's going to come up a little short. It's incomplete. He already came through for them on this drive. No surprise that they were hoping he could do it again. This offense so far on third down, just one for five to this point. This will be third and five. Throwing Jones. Oh, he rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. And they will take over at the 29-yard line. Boy, we've seen a lot of mistakes here in this first half and another there on the interception. Yeah, they're certainly starting to pile up, aren't they? Because, let's face it, we expect a miscue here and there, but they're already down three scores and still giving the ball away. If they want to get back into this one, they've got to take care of the ball because right now the way they're playing doesn't say a whole lot for their chances. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. 
This offense, thankful, I'm sure, to have the football back, but also, Charles, after a long drive of their own, they've got to be a little weary. Yeah, I would agree with that. And what you have to do to combat it, try and get fresh legs in where you can, especially to skill positions. And then for the offensive line, instead of attacking, maybe slow the tempo down a little bit, let them catch their breath. Meanwhile, Allen's throw here, taken in by Knox. A short gain of just over two yards as the first half clock dips inside of three minutes. Well, that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. A short throw pulled in by Kincaid. Down he goes at the 23, a pickup of four. He's a rookie, and you don't want to get hung up on the word potential, but when you see him make catches like that, you keep thinking to yourself, he's good now. He's got a chance to be great with plenty of work. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. A reminder that when halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. Shifts by at the 15, and he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, they certainly made a point of getting him involved in the passing game here in the first half. They must have seen something in the scouting that said, hey, we can capitalize on him getting the ball possibly in the open field. And I think in the second half, that may loosen up the defense a little bit to get the running game going back inside. And this is caught for a Bills touchdown. Gabriel Davis with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Bills are able to widen their lead here in this first half. But it's not too often that you say, hey, this one's going to be over by halftime. And CD, I know our bosses probably don't want us to say that because they don't want people clicking away. but. This one might be over by halftime. And since you've already put your job on the line by actually saying it, I will co-sign and go with you because you're my partner. We don't mean to do it, but this game has been exactly as you've described. I see no hope for them going forward. An extra point by Bass, up and good. And it is 28 nothing. to the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Taken at the goal line. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The New York set to take the field. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, and this is exactly why you practice a two minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Oh, and that is incomplete. Well, this defense is certainly organized and playing off of each other because the rush is providing pressure and the coverage is forcing incompletions and capitalizing on mistakes. When you get every level on defense hitting at once, you get first half scores just like this one. On second and 10, Jones. And he'll get this underneath, dropping it off for Barkley. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. This now a third and four. Looking to throw. Jones. They'll set up the screen to Barkley. 
Room past the 35. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. It's a gain of eight, and it'll wind up moving the chains. When you struggle on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. Again, he'll drop to throw. Looking for Campbell downfield. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. Trying to get something positive to happen here before the break, and they sure need it. They went for the big one, but it winds up incomplete. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. He dumps it off to Barkley. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. I really like the angles that the tacklers came from on that play. They secured inside, took away the cutback. The sideline's there, so you can only go so far outside. And they were able to close in and tackle him for a loss. Yeah, they use your boy over there, the 12th man. Sammy Sideline, right? Sammy Sideline. You know something? He tackles pretty well, too. He's tougher than an airport steak. Now Jones. And that's going to be too high. Out of bounds and incomplete. I know this offense was expecting to do big things, but it certainly hasn't turned out that way, at least not through the first three drives. They're definitely going to have to put their heads together and start concocting some offense that'll move the ball downfield. Jamie Gillen now on to punt. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. A 40-yard punt, no return, and it will be first and 10 as they take over. seconds to go. We'll see how they play it here on first and ten. On play action, Allen. He's got this one complete to Sherfield. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. The catch and run going to wind up netting him 33 yards. So we've reached halftime here in Orchard Park with the Bills taking the lead into the break. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome everyone to our brand new studios here in downtown Orlando in the EA Sports Halftime Report. The Bills got a terrific first half from the man on the cover, quarterback Josh Allen. He had it going right away. Two touchdown passes in the first quarter, two more in the second. Four touchdown passes all told. And he's likely not done yet. The Giants set to get the football, and they trail here as we get back underway in the second half. And this take it in at the goal line. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Giants offense set to begin this third quarter. A CD, they certainly know the hole that they face as they begin the second half. They have to do what precious few teams have done in NFL history. Let's try to come back from a four-possession deficit. And, partner, you know as that team gathers, they're saying to each other, you never say never, right? Because if you're on an NFL roster, that's how you have to think. You can always come back and win a ball game. And let's face it, we saw a certain Super Bowl, a 25-point lead late that wasn't enough to put someone away. 
But that being said, this task is near impossible. Let's face it. And bottom line is, it officially becomes impossible if this possession is an empty one. The more football I watch, the more I want to check and see if teams are going to panic when they're down on the scoreboard. And this team has shown no signs of doing that. A lot of the time, they come out after the half, things haven't worked so well in the first go around, they want to throw the football like crazy. But the way to open up throwing the ball is to run it. And they've run it well here to start the second half. 77 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Ball right on the 50-yard line. Here's second down and three. They'll go to Barkley again. Looking to find a lane, but he can't rein in at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain that time as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. That one goes for eight yards. Well, someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? A lot of it's been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and ten. Jones throw on target to Shepard, and he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. I don't know what they talked about at halftime. Whatever it was, it worked. They looked like a different team here in the third quarter. Yeah, I doubt that there are very many trash cans that got kicked over that type of a speech. I think what they did was they analyzed what worked in the first half, what didn't, and figured out a better game plan. Uh, here's a fake on the jet sweep as he'll go instead with Barkley. This will be a short gain of three before he's brought down at the 22. He's had success on this drive, but not on this play. Finally, they bowed up defensively. I think they were determined not to let him take it pretty much all the way down the field. Yeah, it looks like they handled their run responsibilities correctly this time. When we call them run fits, everyone was in the right place. Second down, here's Barkley again. Oh, look at the juke. And he'll be close to a first down as the tackle made at the Bills 17. It's a five-yard game, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. This will be play number eight here on the drive. It's third and a yard. They'll try to run for it with Barkley. And they'll lose yardage here. Knocked back to the 19-yard line. Fourth down now after a loss of two. The short field shrinks even more with the type of bodies they brought in on that play. Those extra tight ends, they weren't able to secure their blocks, and that one ended up going backwards. Still just the third quarter, but they've got to make something happen. I think they know that. They're going for it on fourth. Back to throw. Jones. And that is caught. He's got it for a giant touchdown. Saquon Barkley from 19 yards away. And the Giants' decision to go for it pays off with six points. So that, Charles, their first score of the ball game, obviously, coming here in the third quarter. Is that going to be enough to energize the troops? It's a great question, and we'll wait to see the answer, but it's finally something for them to build on. Now they know that they can actually score against that defense. Extra point try, good by Godot. And it's now a 28-7 ball game. following the touchdown here to kick it away. This fielded right at the goal line. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. Deontay Hardy. It's a foot race. And he finally runs out of gas, but not before he's inside the 10-yard line. 
Similar to golf, you never want to count a score before it actually happens, but you have to figure. They thought they were going to get six on that play. Great effort to keep them out of the end zone, but a big time return. So here's the Bills offense. Now they get ready for their first possession of the second half. The big kick return nearly resulted in six. Now they'll try to finish the job here, first and goal. Breaking the huddle, first and goal as the return team has set him up with golden field position. They'll run with Cook. He gets him a little bit closer. He takes it from the six inside the five to the four. And now defensively, you have to look at this like the game's on the line. It's just the third quarter, but another touchdown given up here could really spell an end to their chances. So they need to toughen up and keep them out of the end zone. Second and goal from inside the five. Harris will get about halfway there as he takes this from the four down to the two. Call it a gain of a couple. The defense stiffening here. It's third and goal. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. A chance to really put this game out of reach. Here's third and goal. Cook. And this is going to result in losing yardage. They're driven back to the eight-yard line. They went backwards five yards there on third down to break up fourth. There have not been a lot of great moments for this defense throughout this game. Finally, they have one they can hang their hat on. A nice stop there. So on fourth down, off goes Allen. On comes Tyler Bass for the Buffalo field goal. From the left hash, should be a fairly easy one here. The kick by Bass is good. So the big return had him fired up stalls out they only muster three yeah the excitement was there after the return but they didn't move the ball at all after that they didn't even get a first down So after knocking through the field goal, here's Bass to kick it away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down officially at the 21. Saquon Barkley and the Giants offense set to kick off their next drive. He's toppled the century mark already receiving the football, closing in on that on the ground too. They've really had trouble handling him. I think from what we've seen in this game, his success through the air has started to open things up for him on the ground because now he's loosened up the defense, right? They've got to play just about every snap as if another receiver can get downfield on them, and he's been that receiver. Now they bring him back to the backfield. I think his yardage running the ball will increase this with goes on. Well, they might need to devote some extra attention to him, something just to stop the momentum he has. But these guys are going to chop into that deficit. They got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage. No yardage would be found. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Again, it's Barkley. This will be a short gain of three before he's brought down at the 22. Not the start to the drive they were looking for. That run doesn't do much at all. No, not at all. That leaves them with third and long. And you know, this is the time of game where these drives really, really start to matter. They got to make some moves. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Operating from the gun, Jones. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Giants first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. We often hear the phrase sure-handed tight ends, and he certainly fits into that category. Plus, he's got a quarterback who knows to look his way when they need a big pickup. And on this play, he finds him for the first down. Here's Jones throwing on first down. He'll find Paris Campbell. That's complete. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. 11 yards there, just like last play. And you start to think if it's going to happen for these guys, it's got to start with this drive. Down three scores, they need to start making some inroads. And that'll help the cause there as they pick up good yardage and a first down. Now Jones on first down. 
And this turns into a nice gain with a slide at the end. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. The defense did its job of taking away a quick throw, but that's only half the battle because they've got to get to him before he can make a run for it. A little bit late containing him there, so he makes a nice gain out of a play that looked like it was in trouble. A first down carry for Barkley. And he's able to carve out about six there, down to the 37. So where'd all that running room that he had in the first half go? Because it looks like it's drying up a little bit here. Someone made some adjustments, it appears, at least on this drive. Here now, second and four. Barkley inside handoff. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Call that a loss of a yard, and things get a little more difficult here. Third and five. Uh, that's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. Jones from the gun on third down. And the throw there going to be incomplete. The Buffalo defense does its job, and it's fourth down. As a corner, you have to be able to run with guys step for step downfield and man coverage and make up ground quickly in zone. You have to put yourself in position to make plays just like that one we saw there. That's leaking to the right, and he missed it by a foot or two. It's no good, and the deficit will stay at three scores. Yeah, 55 yards is anything but a gimme. You've got to really concentrate on your leg swing and proper technique. This time, though, he's unable to convert. Buffalo offense back out, ready to go. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize. Like going to the county fair, you don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. Here's Allen on first and 10. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. On first down, nothing opening up really on the running play. Give it maybe a yard, and it'll be second down. The way things have gone in this one, the running game's been something of an afterthought, and that's not been too bad for them, has it? Yeah, the offensive returns have been good, but I guess we figured he and the ground game would be a bit more involved. Now we're at the 41, second and nine. Now Allen. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. He's starting to fall into the category of not fair because when he's on target throwing the ball, he's dangerous. But when you add in his ability to make plays with his feet, <laughs> almost impossible. Well, yeah, exactly. They've had trouble stopping him in the secondary. This time they've got the great coverage. Oh, he can run too. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. When this offense gathers to watch the tape, they're going to like a lot of what they saw. They put up big numbers, but they might fast forward through that last play. Oh, there won't be any fast forwarding, partner. I've sat in those sessions before. You end up spending more time on the bad plays than you do on the good ones. It's just the nature of coaches. But I know sitting in that room, when you've had a big game, the night that they've had, you don't want to hear that. You just want to focus on the good stuff. Four yards on the pickup there as they get it back to a more manageable third and seven. Allen now looks to throw. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. 
third down is a down. Both sides know they absolutely have to win. And the name of the game for the defense is pressure on the quarterback. But pressure on the quarterback with contact, that's how you end up winning it. So on fourth down, off goes Allen. On comes Tyler Bass for the Buffalo field goal. He hit his first one, this from 44 yards out now. The kick by Bass is good, and the Bills will add on to their lead. So tack on three more, though this, it's just a rare drive where they did not find the end zone. Yeah, you're right about that, partner, but at this point, I don't think you're too concerned about that. You just want to possess the football for a while and drain the clock. If you can get three out of it, that's great, too. So after knocking through the field goal, here's Bass to kick it away. Taken at the goal line. And he will be taken down here on the return on what will wind up being the final play of this third quarter. We have played three quarters. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Buffalo. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. But we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And, partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. Now it's second and ten. To throw again, Jones. And he couldn't get that one to his man. Short of him, it's low and incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it even though this one feels like a lost cause. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. Looking to throw, Jones. They'll try and set up the screen, it's complete. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. So it was already a gain on the completion, but tack on some more with that penalty. Absolutely, and no matter what angle you're making the tackle from, you can't grab the face mask, and that's just putting your defense on its heels just a little bit more. So a big penalty there on the face mask leads to first and 10. Operating from the gun, Jones gets this to Campbell out on the right side, and he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. On the draw, this is Barkley. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. 105 yards rushing now for Barkley. It's a first down. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. Now he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. It's a gain of nine. Brings up second and a yard. And the Bills 27 yards Second down and a yard. Up the middle with Barkley. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. He's having a big game running the football, but that one will hurt the yards per carry a little bit. Yeah, but the average he's got so far, that's the type of average he wants to take with him to contract negotiations, doesn't he? 
They'll try to pick this up on the ground with Breida. They end up getting stumped twice after that nine-yard gain back on first down. This defense, tough to run against. And those linebackers, they'll go side to side up the field, and there they get them for no gain. If you can't get linemen upfield to the second level to occupy them, they have a field day just running to the football and putting ball carriers on the ground. Not many yards after contact when they wrap up like that. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have the Giants first down. Well, they take a chance there on fourth and one, but it's a gain of three and a new set of downs. Going jet sweep. Here's Campbell. Oh, and this one it may need to go back to the drawing board. He's going to be swallowed up right away. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Let's just make this one succinct. Nice job there. All 11 guys on defense diagnosing the jet sweep and putting it down. Second and 10. Jones with a hand up. No, bottled up. It's out, it's loose. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. And with that kind of a deficit, you can't afford to make any kind of mistakes. But it's been pretty symptomatic what we've seen all game with them, isn't it? Down, say, down this big in the fourth Yeah, you'd court. say an afternoon to forget, absolutely. Now the Bills offense gets ready to head back onto the field. And they have to be feeling pretty good. Comfortable fourth quarter lead as they take over following the fumble recovery. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10, just shy of the 30. Beginning this series with a handoff to Cook. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. Another example of this offense really having their way, Charles, and another big chunk play there on the ground. And when you look at the defense, they've got to do a much better job of wrapping up when they tackle. A lot of great opportunities continue to slip through their fingers, as do the runners. And he'll get what he can up the middle, three yards. That'll bring up second down. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. From the 42-yard line, here's a second and seven. Another tote for the workhorse this afternoon. It's Cook. And he'll take this for about four up to the 46-yard line. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it. Thank you. And this offense on third down today, well, they've converted seven times and could use another right now. Here it's third and three to throw. It's Allen. That is caught. And he is going to have a Bills first down. They needed three. He doubled that. He got six. They bring pressure there on third down, but this is a nice job of picking it up and making sure their guy has time to deliver the football. And they wind up getting the first down. First down, here's the run with Cook. And good work there in open space. And he's got this all the way down now to the 32. 52 yards rushing for him now on 17 carries. The running game continues to be a big part of their success here early in the fourth quarter. And with those types of runs, that tells you they feel very confident in their running game. They feel very strong at this stage of the contest, and they want to keep doing exactly what we saw there, running the ball down their throat. Cook able to escape, and he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. A big chunk on the ground there, 27 yards. Well, we're beyond the tone setting right now. This guy's been the bell cow all day, and he'll continue to rely on him to move the chains, drain the clock, and lead his team. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal to the air. Allen 
to the goal line, but it's incomplete. Well, their passing attack, even though that one was incomplete, has been really sharp in this one. It's resulted in a lot of touchdowns, and it looks like they're not going to stop throwing the football until the very end of this one. Well, that will certainly make everyone involved on offense pretty happy because that gives them all a chance to pad their stats a bit. But as far as the actual need, you and I both know they can just run this clock out because this one, it was over. And Cook will get in. Touchdown, Buffalo. A great effort there with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Bills start to open this lead even wider here in the fourth. Well, this offensive line has really stepped up to the challenge here because those Mastodons, they've been sensational clearing holes all game long. And this is great work down here near the goal line to give their back the space he needs to work his way into the end zone. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Oh, now how about this return? Breaks through the contact. And he's going to be out of bounds across the 50. Great return. New York ready to go again offensively. Right now, they're on the wrong end of the scoreboard, and that won't change if this drive ends like the last one when they had that lost fumble. So you have a feeling taking care of the football is certainly paramount right now. Yeah, and it's not just the guy who dropped it on the last drive, is it? That means everyone who might touch the ball is getting the same message. Guys, ball security, paramount. Let's take care of it, and if we do, we've got a chance to put points on the board. Jones now throwing to start the drive. Short throw, going to be caught by Waller. So five yards here, five on the play. And that will bring up second down. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. Second and five. Back to throw. Jones. Looking again for Waller, and he's got him again. And they're going to be set up down around. 15-yard line. The catch and run pays off for 29 yards. Now, fourth quarter, certainly not enough time for a comeback, but nice to see them making use of the time remaining to try and make this one a little more respectable. Yeah, I think the ultimate goal, good execution, be crisp, be sharp, and find a way to put some points on the board to make this thing look just a little bit better. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. Running left, it's Barkley. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. 111 yards rushing for him now to this point. That's a nice run to get himself back on the horse after his fumble. Nothing spectacular, but a good confidence-building run. Third and four. Looking to throw. Jones. Got an open man. That's Campbell. And yeah, the Giants are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Barkley is into the end zone. Touchdown, Giants. Sometimes offensive can get too cute down near the goal line, but there's nothing fancy about this one. As Coach Lombardi would say, we get a seal here, and we get a seal here, and we run this play in the alley. And that's good work to hit the hole hard and finish in the end zone.
Gano the extra point, and the lead drops from 34 down to 27. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. On the return, Deontay Hardy. And some good special teams coverage as they bring him down just outside of the 15. But James Cook in the Buffalo offense returning to work now. Thus far, he's been quite the dual threat. Touchdown on the ground, another through the air. He's just so versatile, isn't he? He is, and he's exactly what I think we're looking for in the NFL now out of the running back position. Guys who can do everything running it, but also act as receivers. And I don't just mean, you know, the, the, the stopgap guys. I don't mean safety valve. I'm talking about big time parts of it whether they're going to split out whether they're going to swing out of the backfield sometimes they act like a true wide receiver and he's having that type of a game in this one It'll be interesting to see if he can keep it going both phases let's see a gain of three second down so it's bill's football here as we get you reset they've got a second down now as they look to salt this one away They'll try and wind down some clock with Cook. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. It shows you right there, he can do more than just cover in the secondary from that free safety position. Yeah, the evolution of the position has really been significant, hasn't it? Because a lot of teams no longer have a free safety, strong safety designation. They just have safeties. So wherever the ball is, one can be close to the line of scrimmage, one can be deep, and vice versa. On that play, how about that tackle we just saw? Pretty nice. Two yards on the pick up there, it's fourth down. As much as I praise teams for being true to who they are, in this situation, I wonder if maybe they outguessed themselves a little bit. Third down, seemed like an obvious passing situation. They chose to run it and didn't get anywhere close to the first down. Here's Sam Martin now, as he's on to punt for Buffalo. Fair catch taken just inside the 40-yard line. 37 yards on the punt with no return. Here's the giant offense now as they get ready to take over here. They're down big here late. I don't know, you just one last drive here for pride? Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge and someone said, coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's <laughs> get out up. of here and do something <laughs> some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as, they continue, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. Here's Jones throwing to start the drive. He's got room at the 30, down to the 10, and all the way in. Touchdown, New York. Paris Campbell, 61 yards. And the Giants get a small measure of revenge as they cut into this fourth quarter deficit. And yeah, that touchdown counts for their team, but I think it counts more for the fantasy guys, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's just something maybe positive to look at on film, but this one's over, let's be honest. Yeah, I, th I agree with you totally on that one. Gano for the extra point. And the lead is down to 20. Well, the offense wasn't out there for a long time, but they were out there for a good time. One play, and they're able to hit pay dirt. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. Uh, CD, this is the ideal situation in the fourth quarter. You come out here late, not much time on the clock with a comfortable lead and put the final nail in the coffin. Yeah, this offense, 
all game long. They've been powerful. They've been dangerous. You're exactly right. They can end this one on their own terms. They start the drive with Cook. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Offense looked a little bit discouraged after that play, shaking their heads a bit, looking at each other. I think they thought they'd get a lot more out of that call. Sometimes you do get the running lane you want. And other times, the defensive front, they just break up the play before it can get going. Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends, and understandably so. Not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ball game. And partner, I have no idea what the top speed is on all those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into? This offense, they certainly were there in this one, huh? Everything clicking for them in this contest, the kind of performance that they're going to cherish. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. With that, we say so long from Buffalo.